Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today we are going to talk about the best steroids for recomposition. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there watching and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please like, share, subscribe, comment, any interaction with the channel, it's helping us to grow and it's going to allow me to produce more and more content for you each and every day. Also, today's video is sponsored by our friends at letsgetcheck.com. Now, letsgetcheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. All you have to do is go to the website, letsgetcheck.com, pick out whatever test that you want to order. They have everything for men and women, wellness tests, full hormonal panels. Just look around, browse around, pick out whatever you want. Order your kits. They're going to ship them to you in the mail. All you got to do is go online, register, and then provide the sample, ship it right back. They're going to get you results fast right through your email. They'll notify you and they got doctors and nurses there to answer questions and concerns that you have about your blood work. So it's fast, it's easy, it's reliable, it's discreet. Let's get check.com coupon code Jamelli30 is going to save you 30% off your entire order. All right. So best steroids for recomposition. First, I think it's important that we address and understand what a recomposition is because a lot of people don't know. You'll see the word recomp used oftentimes. Uh, so basically a recomposition or a recomp is you gaining size while hopefully losing body fat, but at least maintaining the body fat and not increasing body fat because as we know anytime that you bulk chances are extremely high your body fat's going to go up now it doesn't have to go up terribly um, but if you're putting on 15 20 pounds or whatever the case may be on your bulk even 10 chances are good that your 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 body fat's going to tick up a little bit okay overcoming that and adding size without increasing body fat and especially dropping it is i hate to say everybody's but most damn everybody wants that as a goal there are some people that just want to get as big as they can and don't care or are really dead set on, no, I want to lose this amount of weight. I don't care if I lose that kind of muscle. But in totality, I'd say more often than not, people would want to accomplish a recomposition, but it's the hardest thing to do. There's so much that goes into that. Diet manipulation is the hardest part of it. The Seeing how your body responds to certain compounds and learning it also, because the list I'm going to give you on the surface is great, but people have different body responses and what they can and cannot do. And then coinciding the diet to match with the compounds that you're using that works for you, there's a lot that goes into that. And then the consistency of it, it's very difficult manipulating your training because you got to start training in a different manner. So there's a lot that goes into it and that's why it's so difficult. There are certain compounds <clears throat> that are excellent for putting on size that are not known for gaining like unwanted water weight, for example, or, you know, just certain compounds that when you're bulking on them, they just seem to add a little bit more in the fat department as well. So I'm going to, as I always do with my list, we do a top five. I want to throw out a couple honorable mentions. There's a lot of steroids that you could feasibly say are good for recomposition if you do your diet right, but that... Obviously, there's a list of some that are better than others. So <clears throat> I left two off of my list that definitely have the ability to be on this list. And, and we can go through and debate this because I got I got to be honest with you. The last like four, five, six, and seven, they're all kind of interchange interchangeable rather easily. And so it's going to bring up a good debate, I think, amongst people. I had T-Ball and Winstrol at like that six and seven range because let me tell you something right now. I know Winstrol especially is not known for gaining so much size, but you absolutely could get a good five, six pounds of that and, and definitely drop body fat. That's a recomposition. Um, same with T-Ball. T-Ball's not as aesthetically kind of pleasing as Winstrol, but it definitely is not, you know, something that's converting to estrogen or having a lot of water there, and you can definitely gain size on that. The only reason I kind of left those off, and, and you'll notice that I only really have one oral on here is basically the length of time you can run them and the the duration so you've got more time to make it work and then there's more capabilities there um but not to say that you can't go ahead and do a six-week oral cycle and hit it like that and have a great recomposition because you can but uh, there's like my you know moot points here and that i i, I got to come up with something to leave something on a list and make a list possible so i left those off but we could easily argue them in that four or five spot so i have prima bull in number five because i personally am um, like what people would call a primo snob. Most of you know how 
much I love Prima Bullion and it's my favorite compound, so I know what it's capable of. Is it going to make you a mass monster? Absolutely not. Does it have the capability to put on over five pounds? Absolutely it does. It's very dry. It's very clean. It's just not going to put on as much size as some of the other ones that we're going to go to, but in terms of the ability to cut while doing this, I would put it second on the recomp list of my top five. There's one that's obvious that's going to be number one. <clears throat> that you're going to be able to cut even with a not so perfect diet. But anyway, I've got Primo 5. I have NPP at 4. Let me tell you why. DECA, which NPP is the short estered form of DECA if you're not aware. Nandrolone phenylpropionate. But a lot of people will say, oh, DECA is so wet, DECA is so wet. Listen, DECA does not have to be wet at all. Not at all. There's a lot of reasons that I've talked about this in the past. One is using too much of it. Two is running too much test with it and not controlling your estrogen. Three is a bad diet. Okay, if you can run it at the proper dose, which is moderate, more conservative type dosing, as opposed to this crazy, let's go five, six, seven hundred milligrams of it. Not running too much test with it, controlling your estrogen, which you can definitely do if you'll just realize that and i've done plenty of videos on this that you don't need a lot of testosterone in any cycle just and i always keep my my ratios the same with the test to deca or npp or trend ratios and 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 making sure that your diet is on point you could do wonders especially with npp because some people will tell you that npp is drier than deca i'm not even going to argue about it whatever that's more of a mental thing than anything. You could argue it slightly, but they make it sound and blow it way out of proportion. We'll just use NPP for the sake of, you know what. So NPP, you could definitely add 10 pounds or more on that, and you could definitely maintain body fat with it if you run it like I just explained and do it in the right way. Um, <clears throat> I put equipoise number three because equipoise, a lot of people will use it to cut. You can definitely get nice size with it. You can get up in that 10, 12 pound range, depending on your diet and where you're at, you know, overall. But it definitely has the capability and you can definitely stay nice and lean and cut on it. A lot of times when people think they're buying Prima Bowl and it's faked with Equipoise because they, they're kind of similar. You, I know the difference, you know, but there's there's characteristics there. But Equipoise definitely, definitely, I, I believe thoroughly it belongs at number three. I'm going to probably surprise you with number two, but hear me out. Super draw. I'm going to tell you why. And and I despise fucking super draw. And I, I've talked about that so many times. I absolutely hate it, but it belongs on this list. I'm fair, no matter if I like something or not. Super draw is one of the best steroids for bulking that there is. I've talked about this in my best steroids, uh, steroids for bulking videos. You're always going to hear anybody that really knows about steroids when talking about what should I take to bulk, it's going to be on the list. It's going to be for sure. But as opposed to D-Ball and Anadrol, and Anadrol has a chance to be drier, but for most it's not. Superdrol is dry. The problem with Superdrol is the immense side effects. Because you've got to be asking yourself, if you've got something where you can gain 15 to 20 pounds in it, stay dry, well, what else do you want? Well, it's <laughs> there's obviously a catch there. It is the worst on side effects. I have it right at the top of my list of worst uh, compounds for side effects, the way that you'll fill on them. But if you can make it through it, oh my, easily number two here, easily. The problem is, is most people can't get through it and it's really only a four-week cycle at the max. But you can do wonders in four weeks. God bless you if you can make it through the cycle though. Number one, I think everybody probably knew that before you even started this trend. Listen. The diet manipulation alone and what you can do with Trend being a nutrient partitioner, I don't even need to go there. I hate to tell anybody, anytime, don't be strict with your diet when you're on cycles What to get the most out of them. You can get away with a lot on Trend. Just understand <clears throat> that doesn't hold true for everybody. And also, think about if you ate clean what you would do as opposed to, oh, well, I can still get gains and do this. I'm not saying go eat like dog shit and fast food every day, but I'm saying... You can get away cheating here and there more so and you won't see, for most people, you won't see much of any of that affect you at all. In fact, it turns it into damn muscle and, and, and lean slabs, you know? I mean, it's crazy what trend can do. But with the strength, the ability to gain good, decent amounts of size in it, it's not a bulking compound. And I argue it's not the best to stick 
if you're just bulking, but man, you, if you can easily gain 10 pounds on trend and, and lose body fat, that's the one compound where I'm fully confident that you can absolutely get up to about 10 pounds at least and still drop body fat, where I'm just very confident for most. Not everybody, but most. So easily number one, I don't think anybody's shocked by that. I don't think anybody's going to really argue that. I Well, I shouldn't say that. There's always somebody out there. But I think for my, 99% of you, you already knew that. So trend number one. But yeah, you know, like I said, look, I have to just by the smallest little things come up with ways to separate some of these. So, you know, like I said, it's my list. You guys, I'm sure you have a different list. It's always cool to compare or listen. Some people get so offended if you don't agree with them or their list. Look, I am not one of those. All right. I just like to hear and see and think what people say and compare it. Don't be weak as fuck and, and worry about things like that. Just compare and have fun. Anyway, that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.